Good morning or afternoon. Me and my partner will be proposing a policy that the United States should ban uh, all sales, transfer, and possession of assault weapons. Our ban will be taken from the proposal uh, assault weapon ban of 2018 bill in front of Congress. The, the reason for this ban will be stated in the following. Assault weapons will, are responsible for mass deaths. Uh, present regulations are insufficient to stop attacks. And a bail on sales will reduce mass killings. After that, I'll explain how our plan will operate and what programs will be used. So first, let's start with the fact that assault weapons are responsible for mass deaths. So this year alone, there has been more than 30 mass shootings recorded in the United States. And if you go back one year to 2017, there was 345 mass shootings in the United States. A study by Brandon Ritterman and Anna Staver from Nine News reported that the 2,088 people shot in mass shootings in 2017 are their work. 2,088 people shot in mass shootings in 2018, or 2017, sorry. Of these 2,088 people shot, 1,660 people were shot by an assault weapon. That's 73% of the people uh, were shot by assault weapons. So there are a few major shootings that have brought this problem to like the public side um, as a real problem. Uh, so first, the Las Vegas shooting, which happened on October 1st, 2017. A 64-year-old man rained down bullets on a concert crowd, which led 56 people killed and at least 527 people injured. Uh, of these people, two police officers were were killed. Um, there was over 300 bullets shot um, by one man in about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, so, like, if that alone doesn't say that there should be an assault weapon ban, there's other shootings such as the Parkland shooting, where an assault weapon was responsible for 17 high school students dead. Um, also, the Aurora movie theater shooting where uh, where 12 people were dead and over 70 injured. And lastly, Sandy Hook, where an assault weapon was responsible for 26 people dead, where 20 of those people were six and seven year old kids that now, that before they even start their life, can't even, are, they, their lives were taken before they could even start their lives. Uh, secondly, uh, the present regulations are insufficient to stop attacks. So basically, anyone that is 20 years old or older can go into a gun store and buy an assault weapon. Uh, right there shows, right there shows that we're letting we're letting 18 year old kids with no training whatsoever go in and purchase an assault weapon as long as there is no felon. Uh, as long as they're not a felon. Like, just say, we don't even let 18 year old kids drink, but we're allowing them to buy assault weapons. Um, it was stated by Joshua Eaton for thinkprogress.com that there is a growing loophole with background checks. Uh, so if a background is check is deemed inconclusive, at which point the FBI can can ask for three day, business days to complete the check. If the FBI doesn't complete the background check within these three business days, uh, the buyer of the weapon will automatically be able to purchase that weapon, uh, and the background check is no longer in effect. So last year in 2017, about 3.6% 3 of the 8.6 million background checks in the United States were uh, not filed by the FBI. So that's about 600 and or 306,000 people that were allowed to purchase a weapon without a background check. 
And this, like, thing progress that kind of also reported that this could be as little as just a fax take, taking too long uh, that the background check goes unnoticed. Next, the ban on assault weapons, on the sale of assault weapons or reduced mass killings. Uh, it's, pro it's a proven fact that a decrease in access of guns is leaked to fewer crimes. For, for this, we can look at other countries that have embraced gun control. Uh, TheGuardian.com reported that in Australia, just after two weeks of, just after, just two weeks after a mass killing where a man killed 35 people, they banned all guns, and for over 20 years since, there has been virtually zero uh, crimes involving guns. And in Japan, a country that has some of the strictest gun laws uh, in the world, once again, there's virtually zero crime involving gun laws. This proves that gun laws take uh, this proves when you take violent guns away from criminals, it reduces crime exponentially. Lastly, to give you an insight on how our plan will work, we will begin on the date 30 or 90 days after the date of enactment of assault weapon ban, 2018. It shall be unlawful for a person, for any person who is not licensed under the under this chapter, to own, possess, own and possess a assault weapon unless licensed. Uh, unless it's a licensed importer or a licensed manufacturer. Compensation for a surrendered assault weapon will be given for each assault weapon uh, surrendered with a price to be, be determined by the assault weapon, by the type of assault weapon. If a person wants to keep their assault weapon, they must have it taken to a licensed gun dealer and have it permanently uh, made unserviceable.